you're getting closer, you can make out the detail of the floating city. It seems like it's been sliced from the material plane by just a, a solid smooth arc. The entire city and a perfect hemisphere of the hill onto which it was built. Mm. It floats as if it's suspended in a bubble, at the center of which is a deep red orb. Ah. Mm. Uh, the, we need to get to the orb. The, the city mm. is chained down in three points at, third, at thirds, and then one more that comes out of the river stick. A huge bl big black metal train drives right up through the center of the base of the uh, hill. Mm. You arrive at the foot of this chain, and Mad Maggie, um, true to her word, like plows through the hordes of devils and demons fighting, oh. clearing the way for you to get all the way to the chain. <laughs> right, our deal is complete. Here's the chain, there's El Terrell. Best be seeing you. If you die, I'm taking your vehicle. <sighs> can we climb up the chain? If we go up you the center certainly chain? certainly try, yeah. I'm turning into a giant spider right now. That's gonna all help right. climb up the chain. Just oh. Gonna... oh. Oh. Ah! Yeah. 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 Ah! I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly terrified by like, using a giant spider. Yeah. Uh, Do you, know, you have spider climb if you wanted to use it? Otherwise, I, I, I did just real, it's a level two and I've used both my spells. Okay. Okay. And I, I'm an honest guy. Have you used Wait, all of your spells? I used, too, when did you use them? You used pyrotechnics and invisibility during the imp fight, but we've had a long rest since then. Yeah. Uh, then I have my spells. Yeah. What up? Yeah, one. baby. I haven't used any either, I don't think. Mm. Uh, oh, I've used one of my magic missiles just don't before. I think you used. No, you've not used any of those since. I used my magic missile can I? All right. So do you I use it or do you just. Yeah, I'm spider climb. All right, cool. So you cast spider climb on yourself with what? What item? <laughs> um, it's a little perfume bottle. A little perfume bottle. It's good. And then I can use so And then, then I can climb. You, sp you spritz it onto yourself, <laughs> onto the wrists, and, and, and wherever it hits, it kind of makes like a sticky glue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so it, gets on, it sort of pulls outwards onto really your fingers. It's a really unsettling feeling. I bet it is. But yeah. it really helps me climb large For the chain. duration, you can, you can <laughs> hey. climb upside down yep. at walls, Hey, Greg, you you've got something on your face. <laughs> what? Touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Ah, uh, right no. oh, crap. <laughs> now, okay, my spider climb's not gonna work as well, but I'm still... <laughs> <laughs> so, you're a giant spider, you've got spider climb. Yeah. The rest what of are you guys going to Yeah, what are you up to now, eh? Like? Are we just gonna climb? All right. Uh, so your... Loser. See your, your, iron, <laughs> your iron defender doesn't need to... I've got a rope, anymore, I've got a rope. So I've got a rope. Nice. You, you're probably okay with your immense strength, <laughs> but yeah. he's, he's got Can a negative someone, strength. Can someone, please, friends, Friends, please, uh, I'm, I'm okay. genuine, oh, wait, I'm genuinely uh, uh, okay with leaving him behind at this point. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. You agree. make athletic <laughs> checks. <laughs> okay. Uh, Friends. Ain't nobody. Good. I have minus one <laughs> athletic. Ain't nobody. 18 minus one. So, thankfully, the, the Iron Defender goes to help you and you're like, oh, actually, I got this. Oh, <laughs> and so he turns don't worry, you. friends. <laughs> And so he turns, around, he turns around to Bodger, who's actually struggling, who's now, now hanging from underneath the chain. Oh my like, god. Only a few feet above the oh demons god, and the I'm devils that are what swinging for him on? and trying to eat his flesh, and he's like, ah. Bodger, uh, come on up! The, uh, oh. <laughs> the, the Iron Defender comes down and gives you a hand, and Lulu sort of grabs you with one of her hooves as well, lifts you back up at the top, and between all of your help, you all managed to arrive. I'm just trying at to picture city. a unicorn with other hooves. climbing a chain as well. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, got, you. got my back leg, <laughs> rubbing around. <laughs> hey, she's a celestial, man. You don't know. Maybe it's like her tail. Is she just going? Yeah. Oh, she's just basically floating up. Float. Yeah. Rips uh, around. So, <laughs> <laughs> you climb the chain, you arrive at the top of this ginormous black metal chain, and you arrive at the city. The head of the chain is driven through the rubble of what was probably once the city walls, and it's driven deep into the ground on the other side with sort of like a. Uh, uh, a, a ballista spike that's been shot into the concrete on the other side. Mm -hmm. You are met with screams and crying and chaos as corpses are being feasted on by slathering oh, devils. Down. And others are, <laughs> others are running in terror from flying demons overhead. Oh my God. You walk past a burning tavern, the broken sign dangling from one hinge reads a pair of black and the rest is just missing. So, uh, you need to oh. probably free this from the chains if you are going to... <laughs> no. <laughs> You're probably going to need to free this city from the chains if you're if you're going to get anywhere with it. Uh, or right by one of them. So, yeah. can, can, to clarify the goal here, we've got the sword that's got the the, the, the goodness of Zariel. Yeah. Where, we where, where do we need to take oh, that? Lord. You need to cut the chains. You oh, need to kill Thavius Krieg, oh. and you need to turn the companion cube, uh, companion orb back into. Okay, so kind of, kind of three yeah. things. Yep. Can, can we just quickly investigate these chains then? Sure, can what, yeah. What, make what? a make an investigation check. I haven't investigated one thing this whole time. <laughs> you can do now if you want. You're really unhelpful. You're going to investigate something? Uh, Roll an investigation nine, check. I'm going to do something. Nine too. plus two. Nine plus two, so 11. Brill. 
Um, can I use it? There's no nature down here, is there? God. Nope. Perception. What? Can I do something with do that? Do an investigation check. That's the one. One. Nope. One. <laughs> nope. You are. You Damn are it, Brielle. Astounded. We're, nice. all, we're all standing around this chain. Going, Everybody. We're, what we're oh. doing is let's give Brielle a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody turn. Right, let okay. Brielle do her thing. So what do you think's going on with the chain? Uh, it looks like metal. Like that. <laughs> kind of metal. So, exactly. That's real. Real. As a as a druid, you're uh, comfortable in the wild. You're comfortable amongst trees, yeah. animals, I know beasts, trees and rivers, here, and mountains. Right. It's all brimstone, and I don't see a leaf anywhere. So. On top of that, you're also in a city. You're in you're in an urban environment in hell where there's no nature, and I'm, you're just out of your you're, you're just overwhelmed for a second, and not even look taking. I'm an outlander, guys. No. I'm introverted. There's too many people happening. There's too you much. You investigate it for it? the fact that it is a an enormous solid black uh, uh, metal you know chain. Mm -hmm. Just um, suffer from this condition. It's gonna. Take Maybe some time to, to cut through doubt, it with a sword, even a powerful magic sword. Okay. Yeah. But if it was smaller, hint, uh, it might be able to. Uh, you might be able to cut through it. Something <coughs> smaller. Oh, sorry, I missed that. I was arguing with Brielle. Yeah, God. But, but, uh, how could we shrink the chain or the? Let's all the have, Let's all have, have a very a intense discussion. <laughs> hmm. there, I mean, there's other do? options. It's just there's, there's one that will work. That no, looks like it might work. Hmm. It's I'm going to use. Blur. No, I'm going to use <laughs> large. Slash reduce. Ooh. So you ca what a on the, idea. Do it on the city. You. Do it on the whole city. <laughs> what a what brilliant, brilliant idea. idea. And take it back up. So you 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 look at one of the chains, one of the links in this enormous chain, and you cast enlarge or reduce on it with a what? What's your item? So you've used a flute. Yeah. yeah. You've used. You need perfume. What, that, that little, you know, so that's a little, little perfume. pillow to cast yeah, Featherfall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this Your theme is kind of dainty. <laughs> <laughs> a locket. She's a locket. Is it like a, a little, like a little feather duster? Oh, I, like, I actually like that. Oh, <laughs> feather duster. So he gets a feather duster out and he yep. dusts the chain, and as he's dusting it, it's kind of like shrinking, shirking away, and the chain is creaking and cranking, and then eventually the, 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 the link that he's casting it on is a tiny little thing that's okay, holding, holding these Okay, I've got my enormous. sword. I'm going to slice now. Huzzah! Make an attack. Nice, Again. that'll yes. do it. No problem at all, the chain feathers. And you watch from over the side of the city, the, the rest of the chain, under such tension, poof, fires off and slams down, killing hundreds of devils and demons. Good above. work. I'm I'm proud of you. The, Thank the you. Entire Can city we all have a vote for Baradun to stop talking? <laughs> I'm proud of you. I, uh, the Thank entire you. city lurches. Thank you. As if it's straining to get away from these chains. So uh, you need to get to the other two thirds of this city and cut the other two chains. Uh, you are in a city full of devils and demons. Something that might make you stealthy might be. There's a war idea. raging. Oh, why city. don't I just use this? Woo! Something that might make us stealthy. What have you got? Anything that might make you stealthy, maybe? Or I've got this. I've got disguise. Oh, cool! Use... Yeah, you got passed without a trace. What yeah, cool nice. idea that you guys had. <laughs> Didn't you cast it on us already? Yeah, ages you ago. You did ages ago and it did nothing. It was right really before you went into useless. the citadel because there was no reason to. Okay, do it again. It was kind of useless, but maybe not this time. This time, very useful. <laughs> Finally, you're coming into use, player. I feel like I've been useful this time. You, you know, I'm just. You see how many everyone, animals I've turned into? Sorry, well, I cast on everyone but Adam. How about that? <laughs> yeah, good idea. I mean, oh, Baron, no. nothing personal. No, no, she said it. Adam. So, you know, yeah, that's so who's that was, Adam? That was who's personal. Adam? Who's Adam? Yeah, like, that's not fair. Who's so you, Adam? Okay. So you, Adam is my friend. You drop your spider form oh, as a bonus right. action, become Brielle again, and, and you kind of shake yourself out of your. Scuba. I'm like. <laughs> And I mean, realize, what? That, realize I mean, that the what? shadows and the darkness of this plane is <laughs> is probably <laughs> something you could actually use to your advantage, and you <laughs> suck the shadows to yourselves, and you're you're all stealthy. So everybody, make a stealth check. I already have good stealth, I think. Eleven. Seven. Fourteen. Fourteen. You add ten to that because of pass without a trace. Nice. So your stealth check is 20, eleven. 19, Twenty. Plus one. Thirty. So Whoa! 12 plus, Whoa. plus another Stealthy. 10. Settle down, Brielle. 30. 30 stealth. Six. Mate. Six total. Oh, six. So 16. Uh, yes! Boom! So Thank you. Pretty You're welcome. Good. All right, so I'm, gonna make, in, in, I'm just going to make general perception checks for the, uh, the devils and demons on the area. And none of them beat a 16. So you guys are Woo! stealthy thanks to your roll. You're welcome. Um, good roll. You managed to make your way around in about half an hour or so to get to the other side of the city. Well, about 20 minutes, let's say. Um, You're another one of these chains. What do you do? Do we want to do the same thing? I, I can't, I'm, last I'm time. out of spells now, so uh, uh, well, we need to we need to think of something else to do. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna try and like just hit it really all right, hard. Do it. You're gonna I'm rage. Gonna try and hit it real hard. You're gonna rage or just go for it. I'm gonna rage. Yeah. 
I'm, I, that was not a prompt. I'm just. Oh no just, no no! I'm in a rage. Yep. All right. So you're wait, going wait, to wait, 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 <laughs> wait. I wonder if she wants you to wait. Can I do this to make whatever you roll better? Just in case. Is that all right? So guidance would be an ability check, and he's making an attack. But you can you could. I'm raging. Let me see enhance ability. Oh yes. I think that one might work here. That might be. Is that a two though? I don't think I've got any twos left. Touch creature bestow a natural enhancement. I don't. I don't have any twos no, anyway. Really. All right, um, but you can hey, try guidance, thanks, and if it makes any, no if it makes any ability you know checks, I definitely would. You know help. what? I just saved your ass. Okay. All right. <laughs> so make an attack. You, you can go reckless because it's not going to attack back. Oh yeah. So reckless. Uh, advantage. Fourteen plus or seventeen. 17. Yeah, that's go good 17. enough. That's good enough to do some damage to it plus because you've got to <laughs> overcome the armor, the sort of natural armor of the metal. Um, uh, plus. Oh, what plenty, yeah, yeah, 20 Plus something. Seven? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so 24 to hit the metal, that's definitely enough to do some damage to it. Roll the damage of the sword. Uh, which is 2d8. 2d8, so that one twice. Three. Three. Six. Six. Nice. He, uh, he, he, he streaks down with the great sword. Every time he hits against the metal, it's, it creates sparks. <laughs> and the sparks seem to sort of. Uh, Manifest as kind of uh, celestial glowing parts in the air around the uh -oh. uh, demonic sort of uh, metal that's holding it. Why is it a good thing? It doubles the damage because it's kind of like a, a demonic, uh, devilish, fiendish sort of metal, and it's the goodness of the sword is doing even more damage to it. You've hacked through a good chunk of one of the, the links, but it's not quite enough yet. Do you just go again? So you take your second attack. Frenzied rage! <laughs> and roll that one twice. Uh, this, this one twice? Yep. And 11. Yeah, the higher of the two. Four. Oh, 11. 11 plus 7, seven is 18. 18. It's enough to still do the damage, so roll that one one more time. So 3 and 8. So 11 plus 4. Uh, wow. Ah, okay. Yeah, with that, one side of the link breaks entirely. Bing. And then between the lot of you, you manage to grab both links on the other side and lift it until eventually it mani you manage to pop it off. And again, this one. <laughs> Yeah, we're strong. We're guys. strong. Found it. Oh. Uh, come on, guys. <laughs> come on, guys. We're working together. Found it. Uh, yeah. The unicorn yeah. horn comes in. Found it, guys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We are friends and co-workers. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. You've got, yeah. You've got probably yeah. Michael Scott vibe going you've on. You've got right probably now. 30 minutes of your <clears throat> pass without a trace left. So everybody make one more stealth check. Come on, guys. Let's run. 17. Three. Plus. 19. 12. So what's your total? 23. So we're perception, was it? Three, four. Uh, no, stealth. Yeah, I got stealth. four. So four oh, yeah. total, so 14. I got 30 again. 30 again. You're welcome. 12. 30, 12, 30, so 32. 32. 32. <laughs> so so 19, as, you're, as you're walking this three. time, you just kind of lose track of where Greg is entirely. Greg? Right? Where, I don't know where I, where am I? <laughs> Bodger, Bodger, however, I'm so stealthy. Bodger, however, uh, can't help himself like, a couple of times he passes like one of these like <coughs> lemures that's just a massive roiling flesh and he just <laughs> hack and slashes it. <laughs> Unfortunately as he does so it screeches and another uh, creature it's from down the, down the street that looks like a hideous vulture with long black wings and a, a humanoid kind of face with the beak. Stop! It, it looks your way. <laughs> And it seems to have seen. Now you've done it. So you can make a move. <laughs> can I? Can I bend his luck to? I can't help it. Quickly? I, I just want to make him do it. Okay. Oh. So spend your luck. Who is it? No, I've got two more. As this rock's sort of looking up your direction to see what this shrieking lemure was, uh, you quickly bend reality. Please, for the love of God, be a four. One. Four. Four. Yeah. Nice. Which takes your thirteen to a seventeen, which is enough. So this rock looks up, it swears it sees something, it <laughs> shrieks, and then it kind of looks around. Oh. And as it's sort of heading your way to see what's happening, uh, there's an en enormous horned devil that just comes down and poof, bats it over the head with a, a, um, a club-like uh, oh. object. And it turns to him and starts to peck at his eyes. Ah. So there's getting locked up. Bodger, I'm, <laughs> Bodger, I'm <laughs> very happy you're safe. <laughs> no, wait. Don't touch it. Stop. Stop. It's just gross. Yeah, just, I, just, I need to poke it. Don't, don't touch it. I'm just gonna don't, poke don't, it. Don't, don't touch don't. it. Don't. Don't. Right, I'm Roger. happy you're safe. Well, thank you, That makes uh, uh, Baradun, but you know, I just want to poke it. So no. you make it to the last of the three surrounding chains, remembering that there's I one driven right core. through the center as well. Mm. So you make it to three outer chains. Uh, what do you do with the last one? I'm going to turn into a cape there. I think I got oh, one nice. left. Okay. And then I'm just going to try to bite it. I don't know if it's going to be successful. Like, nang, 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 nang. You look cool. And with your magical wild shape, make an attack with the bear. Uh, the bear has an attack as well, so you can do two. Athletics plus eight, eh? Oh. Nice. 
Ooh, uh, one bite and one claw. All right, so I'm going to do a sneaky. So I have to roll this right first. Yeah, uh, the d20, yeah. Yeah. See if you, oh, that's not going to be enough yeah. to do any damage to Someone the chain. Someone help me out. You. You do stuff. Can I use my <laughs> <laughs> Not with a fight. Even though it's slightly enhanced. And also, yeah, it won't help. Yeah. Even if you got That's roll, making so weaponry. Yeah, things, right. Not really going to be. Mm -hmm. Us. Mm. If you can, if you can convince me of it, yeah, for some I reason think I can, can think why. Yeah. I have two attacks here. Yeah. Okay. Attacks. So the first one, you, right. This metal's like much harder than normal material plane metal. Maybe. Plus, plus your bears, bears attack modifier. Uh, uh, where are you? The bite or claw. Which uh, one plus, plus seven. seven. Plus seven. So eighteen. That's going to be enough to do some damage to this metal. The first time you kind of, <laughs> and then you realise it's too much for your to big bear jaws to get around. So you just take your big claws and just <laughs> rake across it. Three. You do three points of damage. <laughs> you're, you're putting a big... No, it's a D8. Wait, where? Under your bear. Where? The attack, oh, God. Right after the, right after the attack it's modifier. It's 1D8 is the damage. plus 5. Oh, yeah. Actually, Where's you're attacking the with claws, so it's 2D6 plus 5. Oh, right. even better. Here we go. Have mind. So two regular yeah, Monopoly die. Go, go, go. Wait. Is and, this and so that one and your one, there you go. Plus 5. Four plus five. So nine damage. Look at me like that. You scrape big grooves into it, but it's not quite enough. Hey, I did The sound, the sound of it, and this, the sound of it, and the scraping of the metal seems to be attracting nearby demons and devils that aren't in your way yet, but they've started to move your way. So you can take another thing, but every time you fail, you're getting closer and closer to being swarmed by devils and demons. All right, make your attacks. The sword of Zaniel. Oh. <laughs> the sword of Zarya. Oh my god, I don't know what happened. Anyway. Oh my god. Okay, Reckless I'm going to hit no point Reckless attack. I'm going to... Uh, am I still raged? No, no. It only lasts uh, for a minute at most. Reckless attack. Three. But I get another reckless one, means, Yeah, reckless means advantage. Three. Uh, are they both threes? Both just three. just to ruin three everything. Plus seven, not, not enough to do the damage. You, you, you're, you swing down, but at the last second, the bear puts his claws in to try and do again, and you pull back to not hit Ooh. the hand off. Is this a two? Uh, but you have got another attack. Closer. you got two attack. I All right, attack it again. Yep, yeah, with advantage. Oh, oh I'm going to ask you to hit. Roll again in case. I can do this as a three. Nah. All right, so you hit yeah. with this one, yeah. and you do enough damage to sever the bit again. Um, you make a lot of noise though, and you see a few different uh, oh. devils. You look down one side of the street, and there's like um, a creature that kind of looks like it's made of ice, but with Do horns. We want to smoke grenade ourselves, Brett. And it looks yeah, in a minute. And it also, <laughs> and just starts launching its way towards you. It's probably 200 feet from you, but it's gonna. It's closing fast. Can we smoke grenade ourselves? Uh, why don't I do you, just entangle? The chain, the chain itself is not broken. The link is broken. So you guys Wait, still I need gotta, to get gotta, this chain I gotta, off. Okay, I'm gonna heat metal with uh, cast it as oh, a nice. three. All right. So you're casting it on the chain. Yeet. Make it more malleable. Yep. That's a. Uh, the middle. Increases the by middle. a 1d8. Yeah, heat the middle. Yeah, heat the so middle. So I the have middle. to roll. Oh, I'm up. so distracted. I can't. <laughs> Bros is not doing so. We'll say Come this on. heats up enough yeah, that, you, that it middle. makes it malleable it and out. it starts to, with, even without you guys grabbing it, just the weight of the this being the remaining chain mm. uh, and the weight of it being tied down, mm. it starts to just bend the chain out of the way, Ping. glowing incandescent hot. Have we thought about what happens to what we're on, what happens to the city? It floats back up. Think about it. Just floats back up. Oh. Just like ping back up. Like, I hope not. All right. So with this, with the last of the surrounding chains, and it starts to just kind of sway. Oh yeah. This ice thing that's running towards you falls off the side of the thing. Nice. Down into the river sticks below. No shame, Bell. Because I did well. Well, you did well. Good work. Finally. Good work. Finally. saving throw. Good work. Finally. saving throw. Eleven. Watch this. Ooh, eight. Fifteen. Eight ten. Plus, plus my dexterity. One. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sixteen. You're all above Eleven. a ten? Yeah. Cool. So you, um, I am ten. You are, yeah. So you almost <laughs> find yourself falling off the side as well, same as this devil as the thing lurches. Yeah. Uh, but who got the highest stat you probably? Shame. Bodger. <laughs> I didn't Bodger just, You Bodger almost in, fell. Bodger instinctively <laughs> just grabs you and pulls you back on. While or saying maybe, shame. Maybe it's your iron defender that does. <laughs> shame. One of them does. <laughs> <laughs> saves you. <laughs> So All right, I'm just so ashamed. that's three of the four chains. The other one was driven right through the center of the city to yeah. some some part in the center, it seems. Probably right beneath where the uh, the shining red orb is. Uh. So you've got one more chain to cut, Thavius Krieg to kill, and the orb to somehow turn, turn back to normal. Pass without a trace is well gone now. Good Pass on. without a trace, this is the end of an hour, and it's now gone. Yep, we're in trouble. So, and there's no way we can just run to the middle of the city. You have made a lot of noise on the outskirts and drawn a lot of the bad guys to the Are we currently safe-ish? 
currently safe. There's no one currently going for you. Okay, well, I think we just need to make a run for it. And if we do right. get people to see us, then you can entangle people. So the the, the middle okay. chain yeah. is like boom. It's still with your chopper. Right through the chopper. center yeah. of the, the circle. Okay. Like can I just do like a little druid craft and like create a commotion so people think? Well, no one's ready. looking at us at the moment. Yeah, why not? Well, yeah, why not? But why not? Yeah. <laughs> why not? So you grab no, one, no, one of the you you you're looking around terrified of being in this this horrible landscape and you see a garden that's yeah part of the city, and you're like, oh, thank God, flowers. Just something, something, nature. Nice. And you, you sort of grab one, and uh, and with your druid craft, you turn it into like a, a, a huge sort of uh, massive, just uh, vines and and mm. and um, stalks and just, just bits of wood and Jumanji stuff. Stuff. And you just launch it, and as you launch it, it kind of unravels and just scatters like a cluster bomb, just making noise down the street. Mm. And a few of the devils and things. Fly that way. And we yeah. boost right. off the other yeah, well, side. Boom! You well done. Boost it, well. boost it to the center Finally. of the city. Run, guys! Run! I'm faster than all, right. all yous, just saying. Uh oh. Just saying. Big old board oh. coming in. We all need to make some space for this oh, one. Oh gosh. Up in here. Space up in here, up in here. Oh, oh damn. Oh wow, this is a this big boy. This is the big one. Have you got stuff that you can I have take away? Just chunky boy. Oh, oh that's a big boy. You're a chunky boy. I reckon we got some action happening soon. Instead of bok choy. I'm gonna say, <laughs> this feels like a finale kind of board. This kind so, of does feel like a finale. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you all? You're all in here. Boom, bada boom, bada not you, Mag Maggie. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, boom, boom. All right. Um, your bear, you can continue to keep... Oh no, you druid crafted, so that might have meant you would have had to have dropped your bear. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. we, can, we can wreck on that if you want to still be a bear. Yeah, why not? Yeah, Alright, so there we go, you're still a bear. Um, <clears throat> You've not spent much time as a human, so, I must say. <laughs> I am a druid. I'm a druid, I'm druid. Human is what I do, man. So you see before you what was once probably a magnificent abode, worthy, worthy of the ruler of an entire county, made from the finest materials and at least two stories tall. It's now a fallen down hovel in need of demolition. Ooh. Basically on fire in many places. Outside of the, uh, the mansion, there's a surrounding wall destroyed in part by the onslaught of fireballs from above. As you approach, you see two immense creatures caught in furious battle with one another. One is a jowly slob of a devil. Ooh. And he is fighting. A many-armed serpentine Ooh, demon. Sure. Oh, she's cool. That's Waka. The roll initiative. Okay. Two. Three. Why do two. we always do bad? Five. Wow. Oh, oh my horrible. god. Two We've plus. all done so poorly. I right. always almost two, every battle last year. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Even that one was good. Two. Oh wow. <laughs> All right. Total of five. Oh, damn. We've done so. All right. So 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 in order. Greg, what were you? Six. You were a six. Uh, then Brielle. Five. You're a five. I was also a five. You were also a five. Who's got the higher initiative? Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Are, you, are you, you guys adding initiative? Yes. Yeah. Always add initiative when I'm rolling initiative. You've already added it. I guess it was really Did you roll a two? Yeah, was. Yep. Uh, mine was six. Six. I got yeah. two as well. So right. six, five. <laughs> and a two, two, a total of three. Three. I got a Good total God. of three. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. All right, so. Uh, this is a bad way to enter a battle. So Thavius Krieg, who is this big bad demon there. Oh. Bit of devil, I should say. Uh, he gets an 11. Oh, of course he does. <laughs> and then the Marilith, which is the name of this demon here, gets a... What has she got? Oh, she's got a plus five modifier, so she gets a 16. Oh, crappy. She's up here. And then Lulu. Lulu to the rescue! Go, Lulu! Hey, Lulu gets higher than everybody else. Oh, thank, thank you, Lulu. All right. So, <laughs> as you arrive at the center of the city, un relatively unscathed by the uh, surrounding devils and demons, you see these two caught in furious battle. You know that your your remaining goals are to kill Tavius Krieg, mm. uh, to turn the orb, which is now directly above you, from it's a blood red, up here. Yeah, from a blood red to its normal uh, bright white, and to uh, uh, to destroy the last of the chains. So, ally, as Lulu, Lulu goes first. She will. She will uh, float up to the top of this abode here, this sort of barracks that's outside of his uh, his temple, uh, his palace, I should say. And she just aims at, uh, her horn right at these guys, and she sets out. You guys see um, a blast of sort of glitter, effectively, come out of the end of her horn. It's a, uh, that is and it's fabulous. It's a, it's it's a, a rainbow. It's an, attack, it's an attack called Sun Sparkles. Sun Sparkles. Sun Sparkles. Yeah. Which is very, very uplifting in this horrid, you know horrid I world. I believe in you, Lulu. <laughs> so she gets a plus 10 to hit, so that's going to be a 16. I'm not scared anymore. I'm plus. <laughs> this exactly feels so good. Hit. I feel brave now. 
So she hits We're and inspired. she does inspired. 40 damage. Whoa. All right, really? 40 damage to the Marilith. Get, get over, Lulu, why not? <laughs> Lulu, okay. Lulu, can you just stay in front of us all? And then it is the Marilith's turn, who's just got busted from behind by this glittery sparkles. Um, she is going to take, she's get, she gets four attacks because of her mini arms. Oh, wow. Good so she is going to take two of the attacks against Thavius Krieg, natural one and a natural eight plus eight. So she gets 16, it's not enough to hit him. So she just strikes, strikes, and he blocks two of them. 16 isn't enough to hit him. Oh, crap. Um, oh. Then she is going to, nobody else is within range just yet. So she's just gonna unleash the last two on him as well. So. With the last two misses and misses. Well, I like that they're fighting. So she's not <laughs> doing a good job. Do we just all stand back there shooting things? We're like, oh. Three of them. <laughs> just, just Japanese fighting yeah, fish. Yeah. It. yeah. Um, so she attacks three times with the sword, and then one time with her long, like, ten foot long tail, <laughs> whaps, rips, uh, whips around him, but he, he manages to strike it off. Uh, then it's his turn. He is going to do the same to her. Let's see. She has to make a wisdom saving throw because he's going to try and use Dominate Monster and she fails it. So he looks at her as a sort of taskmaster that he is and he, lo he looks at her with the demo uh, devilish sort of energy in his eyes and then she sh kind of goes limp and then turns around to you guys. Uh-oh. Oh, no. uh -oh, SpaghettiO. All right. Um, no, it'll work both together now. God and he, damn it. And then he backs up five, ten feet over here. Okay, Greg, it's your turn. <laughs> Do something, Greg! Go, Greg! Uh, Woo, go, Greg! You've got it. You, you can, can do, do this, it. Greg! We wait, 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 wait! Just jump! Ah, <laughs> uh, Grease! Grease! I threw Grease! Right. So, Grease in uh, a, a 20-foot area. Yeah. So, right here, or where slightly you behind us, trying to get both right here. Yeah, yeah. Boom! So, all this area, I'll just leave that one there to sort of mark it out. In a big square around here is Greased. Yeah. Um, so. When you cast it, or on the start of their turn? Shame. <laughs> to these two. Read it out for me. Is it on the start of their turn, or when you cast it? Um, duh, 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 duh. When you appear, there's creatures standing below. Maybe it's a little quicker for you to read. <laughs> <laughs> when the grease appears, each creature standing in its area, these two, must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or fall prone. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, one of them gets a 19, which is going to beat your DC. What's your spell DC on the other side of the page? Uh, 14. 14. And the other one got a 12. So she falls prone as she slithers towards you. <laughs> the tail slips out from under her and she's prone. What What does prone help us with? It means that she has, if she wants to get up again, she has to use half of her movement speed so she can't go quite as far on the next turn. And while she's prone, if you're within five feet of her, you get advantage to attack her because oh. she's down. However, if you're more than five feet away, it's disadvantage to attack her because it's harder to hit her. Yeah. All right, so uh, hey, can I use my greased a bonus uh, for Iron Defender? Uh, yes, you can, I believe. Yeah, you've used your action for grease. You've yep. not used any movement or a bonus yet. So I'm going to Iron Defender just charge her while she's down. All right, so five. Let's just. He has got. Yeah, he's got enough to just get there. Nice. So he manages to skirt the edge of this poison pool. Yeah. Manages to get all over, all the way over to her, and he gets advantage on the attack because she's prone. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Kind of miss, but the advantage. That's it's better. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. Good uh, thing you cast isn't it? Yeah. And then, okay, so I'm uh, to do 1d8 plus 3. Yep. Or 8. Uh, that one. No, that's one. <laughs> nice. Four. Four. Four damage. Yeah. She's totally dead. <laughs> She's um, all right, he runs over. Don't worry, guys, I got him. He hits her. She man oh, actually. I forgot that she has a, a special thing called reactive, meaning she can take a, a reaction to parry, adding adding extra AC to her thing. Even when so. she's fallen over? Yep. She, oh, she gets That's tricky. It's all she's got a lot of swords, and any attack that comes in, she can kind of put a sword in the way of it. So it, puts it. So it was a what to hit? It was a 16 plus... 16 plus... Plus 5? Uh, so it would have been five. a 21, which would just still hit her. Her, her AC when she parries becomes 21, which is st so it's wow. just still, it. still just enough. Okay. So she tries to parry it with one of the long swords that she's holding, but his bash is just too strong and she's on the ground. She can't get it in the way just yeah. in time. It manages to push the long sword, uh, long sword down and still do the three damage or whatever it was. It was four. Okay. Four damage. Four. Yeah, I've written four. Okay, Sorry. that was Greg Baradun. I've got. I've, <laughs> and Brielle, you're on deck. I've got a uh, lightning bolt. I'm going to do lightning bolt again. Oh, you've got one. Nice. I've still got a lightning bolt. I've actually, I've still got 
a couple of magic slots nice on level slot three. So lightning bolt it is, and I want to kind of uh, how much distance I can do a hundred feet. Do a hundred feet. Yep, you've got you've got thirty foot, uh, foot of range uh, on your movement, so you could move into a more advanced. I I, I, I kind of want to move yeah just to here so that you don't hit the just, iron giant. Just so I don't hit the iron giant, and so it goes through both of them. Oof, I like that. Strike it from both. Um, All right, she's on the ground, so you kind of get low and. And so it's an eight d six. Eight d six. So they have to make dexterity saving throws, I believe. They she do. makes it a disadvantage because she's prone. So, ooh, natural two, plus her dex is, nope, not, not where, nowhere near enough. So she fails the save and takes all the damage. He, however... Please, please, please lower. 13, uh, no, that's 17, which is higher than your AC, I believe. Oh, no. your, your DC on the top oh. of this so page. So does that fail entirely? Top of the page. It says that if yeah, he, yeah, yeah, if he succeeds, he takes half. Ah, oh, so it takes half, okay. So he good. takes half damage, she takes full damage, roll it. Everyone give me a dice. What is it, sixes or eights? Eight. Eight, eight sixes. Eight, eight sixes. Eight, eight D6? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah. Got all them dice. Feeling like a boss. All ones. Uh, all ones. Uh, <laughs> there's, all at least, ones. there's at least three ones there. 11, 13, 16, 18. 18. 18 is enough that she, she, that takes her to dead. Oh, so she, she can't did. get out of the way. She's trying to roll and get up. Nice. But with the sun sparkles and the, yeah, the blast from this guy. Seems it's not quite enough. Um, she gets, she gets just obliterated. <laughs> it, you can see the ar it arcing between the two tips of her uh, uh, long swords. <laughs> she did. She, she did. did. And she <laughs> explodes in this blackish green ichor of a demon. Ooh. He takes half of that. What was it? Eighteen total. Uh, nineteen total. It was nineteen, so he takes nine was damage. Eighteen. Uh, he takes nine damage from that. All right. No, it was nineteen. I don't know. Okay. He takes some of it, but he, he tanks it like a boss. All right, she is gone. <laughs> gone. And your big guy's ah, do, uh, covered I've, in I've used a little bit of movement. Do I have more movement to you use? You do, yeah. You moved uh, this far, so you've still got like 10 feet of movement. Can two I just squares. go behind Bodger? <laughs> just behind Bodger. One, two. Even though I'm I'm going, you're my friend. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm supporting that. I'm, 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 I'm supporting, but not you. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, Brielle's up, and right. Bodger's on deck. So I'm going to just like do this, and I'm going to like. I'm gonna like slide, Look. like water slide. Nice. Because I know I'm gonna fall over <laughs> if I walk, so I'm just gonna water slide. This would be the greatest slide. <laughs> like this. Oh, there's no grease. Oh, there's, there's grease. There's no grease. Yeah. Grease. Yeah. Yeah. grease is here. Yeah, but I have to get. So you, to him. So you run, 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 so run, and as you reach the grease, you just yeah, yeah. You water slide, slide down, slide like from there. And then, awesome. And Make an athletics to... check. And oh, I'm gonna give you. Are you tanking now? Are you? I gotta do. Are you gonna go tank? We can also heal. I gotta do something. I gotta. That is super cool, and I'm giving you inspiration for it. Oh yeah, she gonna tank. Uh, one. <laughs> well, 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 that's not too much. Plus, uh, plus, uh, plus, plus four. Athletics is eight. Oh, plus eight. Oh, winning. Oh, no, nice. 20. Shit, so you son. easily just, and as you get to the other side, I'll even let you stand Boom. up again. Oh, so wow. Prone. So you found a way to stand up in the grease. <laughs> In the movie, that's a slow mo. She, she like comes and goes. Yeah. Oh man, nice. I can't wait to recreate this scenario. With a real beer. With a real beer. beer. <laughs> All right. So that was. Uh, let's Look. say your. Let's say that was a bonus action to do so. You can now have an action to. Great. I'm gonna um, attack with my mm, mouth. No. <laughs> mouth or claws. But I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite, him. bite right. the arm of the man with the club. The arm um, club man. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Nice. Big jowly, horrible sort of right. disgusting devil in front of 19. 19. 19 plus stuff will hit. 19 plus. Plus seven, I think. Yeah, it'll hit. It'll hit. And right. then I need an eight. So that's the scut. No, that's this that one. diamond liquid one. Yep. Four, Four plus, plus five. five. Nine. So nine points of damage to Savius Krieg. Thankfully, nice. your, your teeth attack are considered magical. And so it does damage because he's, Im he's uh, immune to non magical attacks. Oh, good oh. to no. know. Oh. Good to so know. Oh, hey, no frying man. pan usage on this guy. <laughs> the frying pan, pan has been, oh, been, been, been enchanted. It's so been it magicalized, an, that's right. It is a magicalized. Plus, I've got the sword of Zarya now. Oh. All right. <laughs> so that is your turn. Uh, Bodger, you're up. Get it. Get what it. What I'm going get to it, do is Sun <laughs> Beam. Nice. From where? <laughs> Uh, well, it's got a 60 foot line. Yeah, which is even more than this. So, w from where you're standing? Yeah. It will hit the bear. Yeah, uh, move it uh, here. So, you've got a do better you angle. Not? No, wait, there's a wall there. Do you want to not? Do this you is want to not? Wall. Yeah. So, so, you can only shoot through that. I would. What do you. Wait. 
Uh, maybe I won't, or is it too late? Once it's it's it. No, no, it's up to you. If you get up here to where Lulu is, is that yeah, on top of the thing? Angle this, to is, get down? this is much higher. Oh, it's much higher. This, uh, this is probably about ten feet higher than this. <laughs> one. Yeah, right. This oh, roof's no. about ten feet. Might up. need to hold on. Oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, hang on. Do I have something? Someone move me. Single object. Oh, no, that's object. What's that? What can I can I jump. throw? I my, just can throw, I, oh no no! I just sword. Okay, wow. no wait. I've got a jump thing. Mm-hmm. I could give you jump if I if I touch you if I just go. Okay. I bless thee with jump. <laughs> uh, you, the creature's jump distance is tripled. That's probably not enough to still jump up here. But it's, up. it's definitely enough for his strength. He can easily jump up there if he's got. Let's so get you up, on, up on top of the wall. Yeah. So he can't do. It. It's not his turn. But you can ready an action. You can take your action to get ready, effectively, so that when it comes around to Greg's turn, he casts a jump and you do your action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Ready. So you, what a boring turn. <laughs> <laughs> we bodge it and then it's back to Lulu. Lulu, go! Lulu, go, Lulu, go! Go, Lulu, go! Go, Lulu, go! Okay. So Lulu, Lulu's turn, she uh, she floats up onto the top of the wall. She oh, aims down and she tries to sunbeam him. Nice. Sun sparkles, I should say. Oh, yeah, I've, I've got the sunbeam. Yeah, you've got the sunbeam, sun she's got the sun sparkles, which will hit. So she does ah, 40 damage to him. Holy crap, she's Lulu. strong. Lulu! Lulu. Yep. We, we would not be doing she it was well. The, she was the companion of an arch, de uh, an arch angel who... Wow. Has has been surviving for herself in hell for eons. True. So she's. I kind of feel like tough. Lulu could have done this on her own. Yeah, she's yeah. Probably, Maybe we should all just. Should we just <laughs> let, let Lulu do this? <laughs> all right. He takes it. Just covered in these sort of glittering sparks, which seem to be burning and searing the smoke coming from him wherever these sparkles of goodness have touched his evil skin. And it just gives me like a really good highlight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice highlight. You're just like I look sad. The Marilyn. She's fabulous. dead. Me Get too. out of here, Kree. It's his turn. He is going to. What's uh -oh. he got? Watch out, bro. He he doesn't uh. like the uh, celestial horse up there, so he. But he's also got the people. If Lulu mm -hmm. dies, I am going to be broken. Do not kill A Lulu. broken human. Yeah. I won't sleep tonight. Right. Okay. 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 Can you run those gambles? If you can do this for 20 minutes, we're going to hold episode out of it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it going to be? Next time. Find out uh, after the break. Yeah. Oh my god! Zariel? <laughs> Wait! Zariel? Is that you? Old mate! Old mate, how are you? Shane, 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 He just can't hold it. He doesn't know what to do. Brielle, you're up. Huge thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this preview episode of their upcoming campaign, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. If you want to find out more information, it's all below. And next episode is coming soon.